Now, cybersecurity and what's been described as the digital battlefield is one of the biggest problems we face. Everything from home computers to government and big business have the problem. In fact, the inventor of the World Wide Web, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, says global action is needed. But to do that, we need people with the right skills to fight the virtual battle. And that means drawing on as big a pool of people as possible, which is why the UK's cyber security agency, GCHQ, is running a competition to encourage more young women to work in the industry. All week, Vanessa, Aisha, Victoria and Amelia have been practicing for the final of the National Cyber Security Centre's first code-breaking competition for girls. So this challenge is where we have to bypass the security, but it's protected. So we're going to use a technique called buffer overflow, which makes the computer confuse, so it automatically gives us the files. In real life situation, when would you need to do this? And so if you're trying to find out maybe an enemy's information, you could use this technique to go into their files. During World War II, three quarters of those working in Britain's ultra-secret code-breaking operation at Bletchley Park in Milton Keynes were women. This is written in a sequel, am I correct? So. Yeah. Today, the world's cyber security industry is dominated by men. I think only 11% of the current workforce is is female, which is obviously a really poor figure. So we need to try as educators and industry experts need to try and drive as many females towards the industry as possible. Yeah, it spells yeah. out, it spells the, out the way you need yeah. to... Computer science is part of the curriculum, but this competition aims to inspire more girls like Amelia to think about a career in computer science. It's important because we need the next generation of coders and we need more females in the profession because there's a lack of them. Yeah, I think because um, of gender stereotypes, people normally think that women aren't as capable as men, which is obviously that's not true because women can do anything a man can do. Now these girls will be competing in Edinburgh in two weeks time against nine other schools to become the best young cyber brains in the country. Oh, that looks good. So what team name have the girls come up with? Go team! Not bad. Their mission to win this competition. Lee Milner, BBC Look East in Chelmsford.